Our team coverage continues tonight as the family of the man who police say was the shooter believes mental health may have been a factor. News Force Cameron Taylor live in Antioch tonight. Cameron Antonio King's family put out a very powerful statement. They did Tracy and they talked about being heartbroken about their loved one and for those who were hurt in today's shooting. Now tonight I spoke with a professor who studies gun violence and mental health to get his perspective on what happened here. Those gunshots are what workers at Smile Direct Club's manufacturing facility heard in Antioch. Metro Police say 22-year-old Antonio King is the one who fired the shots. A 6 a.m. workplace shooting probably signals some kind of tension um, at the job with coworkers or something like that. So Jonathan Metzel is a professor at Vanderbilt University. He studies gun violence and mental health. You know, again, mental illness is a factor in many mass shootings, but that doesn't mean it causes the mass shooting. I think that's really the take home point. Police say King fired more than 20 shots after a shootout with security guards through the doors of the building. There is a security officer shot. OK, we're getting help out there, but please keep your keep me on the line. And if you can keep yourself as safe as possible, OK? Two security guards and a manager were hurt. Investigators believe King was also hurt by their gunfire. Officers caught up with King as he walked on Antioch Pike. He's got a gun in his hand. Do not move! Drop the weapon! Drop the weapon! Drop it now! Police say officers like Dylan Ramos repeatedly told King to drop his gun. After police say King refused, two officers fired their weapons during a confrontation. He died at the hospital. In a statement, King's family wrote, The reality of his mental illness has taken us by surprise. Unfortunately, the signs of the severity of the illness were not evident to those of us who were with him daily. I hear shock and surprise, right? I mean, a, a lot of times mass shootings result not because of mental illness, but because of anything else in the world. Professor Metzl says that could include workplace stress. He believes King's relatives are struggling to understand. The most important thing we can do as a society is to identify people who might be at high risk before events like this happen. And police say King was a day shift employee here at Smile Direct Club. They say he'd only worked here for a short amount of time. And we have his family's full statement on the News 4 app. Marius.